just left Brixham and we're on our way across Lime Bay to Portland in Dorset. I've got my drinks order for the crew, so I'm going to make the drinks and then take them up on deck. So this is my excellent crew this morning. Going east across Lime Bay, there's only one big hazard, and that is the Portland race. The race is formed when the east-going tide hits the wall that is the island of Portland. It then gets forced around the headland. But in addition to this, it also hits an underwater cliff, the Portland Ledge. According to the almanac, the ledge shoals rapidly from depths of about 100 metres, some two miles south of the bill, to as little as 10 metres on Portland Ledge itself. Add a bit of breeze and you get something that looks like this. Pretty scary stuff. So how do you avoid it? Well, it's all about timing. There's loads of resources, websites, charts. There's even a YouTube vid by sailing legend Tom Cunliffe. And they all agree on one thing. If the wind is light and you're going east, you can cross the race three hours before high water Portland. Does that mean that all we have to do is arrive at Portland Bill at the right time? Of course not, because the right time when we're going is sunset. And after narrowly avoiding all those fishing marker boys on my journey west, if it's too dark, we're going to go the long way round. Here he comes. Oh, yes. Mummy and there's a mummy and baby. Look at this. <laughs> I'm literally sailing through a pod of dolphins. Look at this. <laughs> Way better than swimming with them. <laughs> Look at this. There we go. Oh, Sabina's going to hate me. Side. Oh, my work here is done. <laughs> Dolphin action. No, I think there is hundreds of them. So the wind, or rather lack of it, has defeated us, and we've had to turn the iron wind on, but we can see Portland Bill ahead. Hurrah! The tea! Oh, nearly dropped it. Thank you very much. Um, if we're coming in here, you haven't got any other lights, so you're probably going to aim for that flash in there. That one. Is... That, one that one, actually. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I marked oh, it. Oh, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it is another one that is, you know, 
just in case you can't see that one yeah. or that one or whatever. Yeah. Amelia's doing some planning to do uh, a night passage uh, across Portland Harbour. And if this sunlight continues to be bright and there's no clouds in the sky, then I, I suspect we'll have a, uh, a perfectly visible journey down the side of Portland and then going into Portland Harbour in dusk uh, will be perfectly okay. Sunshine is looking quite special. So we're at that point in the journey now where uh, we're prepping for the sunset. Um, which should be about eight o'clock. So we're, we're about an hour earlier for that, but um, we need to be prepped. Sails down, uh, we're just having a little bit of food, and then we're clearing the decks and making sure we're ready and making preparations for any uh, approach we might have to do at night time. So here's some sandwiches for the crew, and there's Steve on watch. So we're approaching the Portland race now, and the tension is palpable on deck. Uh, we're not sure what conditions to expect, <laughs> but we're kind of hoping it's not going to be too bad. Um, and apparently our, um, our support crew is going to be um, on the bill, waving at us as we go past. So this is it guys, Portland race. Woo! It's okay, it's not that scary after all. And that's you, and I should have been on there. But then look at this sunset. So we're waving to our shore crew. One last wave. I'm sure we won't get it on the video. But there we are. Confidence rounds the bill. We're all taking pictures. And we really need to be looking out for pots. There's one. There's Paul and Bill. Look at that sunset. Ow! Steve? Doing just fine. Just fine? Just fine. Portland Arena, Portland Marina, this is your company.
That's all we see. We'll be with you in a few seconds. How far down is it? It's about six from the end. It's what? It's closer to the other end. Closer to the other end? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I see it. Paul, this is confidence. I got your light. 